All right. Hi, everyone. Um, I'm taping this, on, recording this on um, my new laptop, so bear with me. I do have a dress on. Um, I got to figure out how this thing works. So I had my baseline ultrasound and blood work done today. Um, my last update, I told everybody how they had had me on the pill um, for a very long time, basically, um, and that I was spotting and whatnot. Um, my last pill was Sunday, and they were expecting me to start by Tuesday. I never did. I never, I never got a period. Um, probably, they said probably because normally I, mine only lasts for a day and a half, and since I spotted for like a week, it like when I went in for my ultrasound, she said there was nothing in there, so. Okay, so, um, but my, um, I was worried about my labs, because I was thinking, if it's all gone, like, what day am I really on now, you know, um, but it was fine. Um, my estradiol level was 27, um, which went up just a pinch from last month, I think last month it was 14, but because there was a little bit of estrogen in the pills, that's probably why. Um, on my right ovary, I had 6 to 7 follicles, and on my left, I had 9 to 10 which is about 17, which last month when they did it, they counted 17 or 18. So that seems about right. Um, and so today is my first, yay, injection of follow stem. Yay. <laughs> um, they have me on 375 IUs um, starting tonight. Um, it's about 4 o'clock. I'm going to do them around 8.30ish, 8.45ish, because on some nights I work till um, 8 o'clock, and I, it takes me about a half hour to get home from work. So in case, you know, for the nights I'm at work, um, I need to be able to be home and have my husband give me the shot um, at the same time every night, because I can't, I, I can't do the shots. Um, I just can't do it. Plus, I didn't want to do it too early because if I end up on two doses, I didn't want to have to wake up at 6 o'clock in the morning whenever I don't need to. So, um, I don't go back till Tuesday. I'm going to take this 375 for four nights. So, today is Friday. So, tonight, Saturday, Sunday, Monday night. I go back in Tuesday for another ultrasound and more blood work. Um, and I'll probably start the Gena Relax, I'm guessing, maybe the next day. I don't know. I know I usually start around day five or six. Um, so then I'll be on two shots a day, but I'm super nervous. My husband's on duty. Um, he's at the fire station right now. So I wanted to be able to film my first shot because I'm so terrified. Like, I'm just, I can't believe it's here. Um, and I wanted to be able to film my first shot, but since he's on duty, um, he's not going to be able, we're not going to be able to sit there and piddle paddle around and um, mess with the camera and, you know, all that good stuff. So, I love this new computer. I'm trying this. Let me see what this does. Oh, that puts fire over my head. <laughs> What's this one? That's a big fire. Um, it has all this cool stuff. Like, wow! <laughs> um, but anyway, um, yeah, sorry, start that tonight. And I'm really nervous. Um, probably maybe tomorrow night or sometime this weekend. Um, well, I'll film one of the injections. Um, I am terrified right now because I know I can't put that needle in myself. Uh, even though it's little, I know I can't do it. And I, I know I'll stand here and just be like, and it'll never go in. So he's going to have to do them. Plus, at least it makes it, it'll make him feel like he's involved in this whole process. Um, what else? That's my dog snoring. I think that's about it. Um, up until Tuesday, and uh, until Tuesday, I probably won't have much to update on. I'm trying to think if anything else has been happening. Um, not much. I was just super nervous considering I was on the pill for so long, and I can't believe day one is finally here. I like to think in probably two weeks I'll be having my eggs yanked out of me is just crazy. Um, so I'm super excited that, and I'm, I actually have something to keep me busy. I didn't get to go um, 
<clears throat> anybody that's in the gymnastics community knows that it's a testing year. Every four years you have to retest your highest level. So I'm a level 10 judge. So I have to retest level 10. Um, everybody's in Lancaster right now, Pennsylvania, which is hours from me. Um, everybody from my gym and my mom and all my judging friends. Um, I can't go because I have to be here. Um, if I had had this ultrasound done yesterday, I would have been able to go, but there was no telling when I was going to start this process, so I couldn't go. Um, so I get to study basically this entire book. I don't know if you can see how thick it is. And it is just jammed. I just opened something random. It is just jam packed full of gymnastic stuff. And I have to know this entire book basically <clears throat> soon. So at least for the next two weeks um, and even after because I'll be taking it easy. Um, I'll have something to do, I guess. <laughs> I've tried studying and I didn't even open my note cards yet. They're still in the package from Target. <laughs> but I need to get studying. Um, and I have all about these little tabbies today. Um, also, I have a question. I bought Brazil nuts for transfer time. Does anybody know when you start eating them? Uh, how many you eat? how often, etc. I'll show you the ones I grabbed. Okay. I grabbed these from GNC. They're already they're unsalted and they're already out of the shell because I don't want to sit here and crack nuts all day. But it's a decent amount. 12 ounces, I mean. Um, so, if someone could tell me like when I start eating these and how many and but I have them ready. That and everybody's always talking about the pineapple core, pineapple core, pineapple core. So I did some research and I found that the reason you're supposed to eat the pineapple core is because it has this, um, I don't know if you want to call it a supplement or a vitamin or what it exactly is, but it has this stuff in it called uh, bromelain, bromelain, brom. I don't know how to say it. Here it is. Oh, you're getting a glare off my window there. Um, and this is 500 milligram tablets. Oh, there we go. Um, I tried, last time we got a pineapple, since I knew this, I tried to eat some of the core just to test it out and see. It's really chewy, and uh, I love pineapple, don't get me wrong, like I really love it. I love pineapple juice, but it makes my tongue and my mouth raw. So I figured I would try this, but does anybody, has anybody ever tried this instead? If so, how much did you take? When did you start taking it? Um, I was going to ask my RE, but you know how that goes. It's kind of hard to get a hold of anybody to ask them anything. So I know it's for implantation, so I figured maybe maybe I'll ask them on egg retrieval day. I don't know. Or if someone else can tell me. Um, I just don't want to mess anything up. I don't want to take the wrong amount too much, too little. I don't want to, I mean, if I don't need it, I'll just take pineapple core. But is this the reason, can someone please tell me, is this the reason why everybody's taking the pot before? Because that's what I found online. Also, someone asked me what I'm taking prenatal-wise. Um, oh, and I want to say hi to Lisa Marie TTC. I watched your video today, and you have a massive amount of pills. I've been complaining about four pills a day, and I give you mad props for all those pills that you're going to take. Like, <clears throat> that's a lot of pills. Because <laughs> um, some of them are really big. Like, I didn't see yours, but some of them are... The ones I take are really big. So anyway, when I was pregnant with my daughter, I took, and I attribute the, this to, I had such a great milk supply with my daughter. I could have seriously fed 10 babies, literally, I'm not joking, at least 10 babies. Um, I would feed her and then I would pump and get like two full pouches. I would get like, the, I had the Mugella and I would get two full pump cups, <clears throat> sometimes more than one on each side. So... I could have fed a lot of kids, but I think the vitamins helped. And the whole time I was pregnant with her, I took fish oil, and I'm taking those, taking that now. If anybody doesn't take fish oil, it doesn't taste like anything, but it's big. I mean, you can see how big it is in my hand. So I take fish oil. Excuse me. Prenatal, just generic prenatal. Um, this actually isn't. I'm silly. This actually isn't the brand that's in this bottle. Um, the brand that's in here is from Sam's Club. 
because Sam's Club stuff is super cheap and you can get a lot. Um, they have the exact same ingredients though, so it didn't matter. These are the prenatals and they look identical to the ones that were in here. The reason I put them in this bottle and you're going to think I'm really silly, I have like an organizational problem. All my pills I take are in green bottles <laughs> by the same company and I just, I don't know, for my appeasing to the eye, I'm just goofy, so I put them on there. I also took, um, and I'm taking now, and I'll keep taking, uh, DHA, and it's actually for prenatal health. And I've heard people say, say DHEA. I don't know if there's a difference. I'm, I guess there is, otherwise they wouldn't be named something different. But if anybody knows the difference, can you tell me? I'm running out. I only have a couple days worth left. And these ones are kind of, not expensive, but they're these are more than like vitamins and everything. I don't know. Everything I have is by Spring Valley. Um, these ones are little red ones, little gel caps. Uh, let's see. Then this one, I have folic acid, and I take one of these a day. Can you see it? I don't know. There we go. I have a glare. I'm right across from my window. 400 micrograms. Um, the prenatal itself already has, I believe, 800 in it. Um... Uh, I'm almost positive it has 800. Full of gas at 800 micrograms. So I'm taking 1200. I guess it can't hurt, huh? Um, and then I also have my baby aspirin, but I haven't started taking any of that. And the antibiotic, and the prednisone, and then of course my progesterone oil. Um, I leave it all in this basket, sitting neatly on my table with all my needles. <laughs> but um. Two main things I need to know, if anybody could please help me out or lead me in the right direction, is the Brazil nuts and the bromelain. Um, um, also, at GNC, I just, this is totally off subject, but I just want to mention this. Um, I got bit by a spider. Um, they're telling me it was a black widow. <laughs> we live in Pennsylvania. I don't know. And that was about two weeks ago. Let me see if I can find the picture on my phone. Um, it was on my hip and it hurt. Uh, let me see. Can you see the picture? Right. It's not a good, I don't know. I'll try to insert a picture instead, but cause for some reason the glare off the camera, it was, um, it felt like a bruise and I was like, what is that? So I noticed it and my husband was at the fire academy. I sent him a picture of it and he's like, yeah, that looks like a spider bite. So I left it alone, figured it would just go away on its own. It didn't. It got worse. I literally, from the front of my leg, clear back to the middle of my butt. So like my whole side on that leg, like this, this far down too. I couldn't even touch it. I couldn't even lean against anything. I couldn't sit in the car. As soon as I'd sit down, it would touch the side of the car seat. I couldn't do anything. So like the following Monday... First thing in the morning, I went into the fast care center and they ended up giving me an antibiotic, which I did not finish, <laughs> but which I should not have done. It was clindamycin and it was seven day. And the reason I didn't finish it is because I've heard that antibiotics can make your um, estrogen level go up and I did not want to do that. So, but it did go away. But I just want, the, the reason I'm telling you that story is the whole GNC thing where I got the Brazil nuts and the bromelain, they have peppermint oil. So if you have a spider problem, um, it's upstairs. I'd bring the bottle down. I bought a, I bought a big bottle, like a medium-sized bottle of peppermint oil. They come in small and then medium and this big one. I got the medium one. Um, you pour it in a spray bottle with two cups of water and it does separate like almost instantly. So every time you go to spray it, you have to shake it and then spray and then shake. I sprayed my entire house around all the edges of the floor and the walls and everywhere. I haven't seen a spider since. And before I sprayed it all in my basement, um, and I would see spiders down there like, all over and I vacuum all the, all the um, corners downstairs and everything and I sprayed it up through here I haven't seen a spider so if anybody has a spider problem on a side note or if you're spiders and don't want any peppermint oil worked and it also is supposed to deter mice and rats which I've never had a mouse in here but you never know so I this video is getting kind of long so I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up um, if by chance I get to film my injection at the fire station, I doubt it. But in case I do, I will, I will post it. Um, so nervous. I'm so excited. I start. Yay! Um, so everybody wish me luck, and I hope everybody else is doing well, and I should talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.